Okay, so now I'm ready to make the next item, which is, of course, our tools. Now, I'm going to be making the shovel uh, here, and I'm making an obsidian shovel. Obsidian. So yeah, you, first you want to click what tool type you want to make. These are just in order. I just work my way down. It's so much easier if you do it that way. Uh, but yeah, you pick your tool type and a tool material, which I showed you how to make in the last episode. Now you can make, like, allow you to make gold and diamond and things easily, more easily, but you, it's not a good idea to, I think. I, I, I'd rather just, you know, make the new items rather than giving you new ways of making other ones. So if you really want like a cheating one, so you thought diamond was too rare, you'd be wrong. You could speed up the rate that you get diamond by changing like so as diamond can be made with dirt. So you can make diamond pickaxes with dirt, but whatever. Um okay so new item. This is the obsidian obsidian shovel. Oh, can't be any spaces. Do note that this is spelled wrong because I was quick typing before. Stack size. Well, this is a tool, so you can only stack one. You need to set this on tools, else they like you will break all of the tools you have in your inventory. Um, up to if you had like 64 tools in your inventory using one of those tools would actually damage all of the others so and wouldn't give you anything out of it so that's why always set your stack size to one with tools now we're going to browse for a obsidian shovel I have made an obsidian shovel uh, it should be in here obsidian mod textures like I say I do actually do some of the stuff items obsidian shovel it's just like, to, oh no, I can't open that in editor. I don't want to do that. I thought I might be able to show you in the editor. Now, if you wanted to, you could actually make items that can be burnt, which is what I've done with, if you look at all these, I've got blaze stone, blaze iron, blaze diamond. I'm not adding blaze wood, because I don't think it would be worth adding. I might do. I'll probably add blaze obsidian and blaze redstone. But uh, those are going to be able, so the items that you can burn as fuel, so perhaps if your tool has hardly any uses left, you could burn it rather than having to to hold on to it so you actually put that pickaxe which only has one hit left to a good use and that you can smelt it and make 200 smelts with that because that's because a blaze rod can be used to make 100 smelts. It also improves the item itself in damage and things. Anywho that's pretty much how you make an item. If you then want to put it in the creative tab this is a shovel so it's got to go in tools Make sure you do this, else uh, you will have to craft every time. And if you didn't make a recipe, which I'll show you how to do in the next video, uh, you wouldn't be able to access it. So create. You have to hit that twice. And now we're going to make a piece of armor. So item, click armor. This is just tabs. We're going to make, uh, let me just check which armors I've made. Uh, I haven't, okay, I haven't made any armors yet. And the only armor material I have at the moment is redstone, so we're going to make a redstone helmet. Now, we put in redstone helm. Helm just speeds things up, so I find redstone, redstone helm, it, helmet. So there we go, we've got now redstone helmet. And yet again, I don't actually have a texture, so that'll do. Um, I will make a texture later, uh, but I just haven't got around to it yet. Redstone helmet. I'll do a video on how to make the textures easily um, uh, at some point. But there we go. So we've got the redstone helmet. So how much redstone? Where will it be? Uh, well, it's armor, so it's going in the combat area. And yes, again, we're going to change down its stack size to just one, otherwise it's not safe. And that is it. Now you can just click create. Now, of course, you don't have to worry about, oh, what about my shields and things, and how much armor is it going to give me? And That isn't a problem. We already did that in the uh, armor bit here. 
Okay, so that's how you make uh, tools and armor. Now I'm going to show you how to make recipes in our next video, or helmets, and that won't be very good at all. Now, the annoying thing is, the damage resistances, it doesn't exactly show you um, what these are, but these are half shields, and I know that iron does two here, it does six here, and it does five here. So, what I'm going to do is I'm literally just going to do drop one on each. And then we'll click create, and there we go. We now have an armor material ready to go. Now in the next episode, I'll be showing you how to actually create armor and tools. Um, but I might have to do it one by one. I'm not really sure. But uh, yeah, thanks for watching, and hope you watch our next video.